Ole Miss, you're eligible for postseason play, but can you get there? Our schedule analysis on the Ole Miss Rebels next on The Voice of College Football. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, with our schedule analysis of all the Power 5 teams. That's 70 of them, and we ranked the schedules from 70 all the way up to number one. We started the series way, way back. It might have been in April, and we're finally making our way through this. We're going to make some progress. We're going to post videos each and every day on the schedule analysis and schedule ranking. And then at the end of the video, I will give you my record projection for this particular team, the Rebels in this case. And uh, keep in mind that this is not my final prediction. This was a projection that I made back in the spring. All right, for the Ole Miss Rebels, they begin the season at Memphis. So that's a difficult draw, of course, out of the group of five. The Tigers are very capable. They've been a substantial bowl team, a high-scoring offense, and will continue to be this season. So this is a tough draw for Ole Miss. So it's a group of five, a non-Power 5 opponent. But certainly Memphis, you would have to say, is – typically better and has been for the past few seasons better than roughly 20 to 25 teams in the power five maybe that's a little high five conferences in the power five I would say Memphis has been over the past couple of years better than three to four of those teams in each conference so Ole Miss is taking on a difficult Memphis team on the road at the Liberty Bowl then they go right into SEC play with Arkansas on September 7th that's a home game followed by Southeast Louisiana. Over the past few years, Ole Miss has tangled with uh, California. The Cal Golden Bears, Justin Wilcox and crew, out of the Pac-12. So we don't see many SEC uh, Pac-12 uh, matchups. We did see Oregon, Tennessee a few years ago. We've got Georgia and UCLA on the docket for a few years from now. This one is Ole Miss and Cal going at it. And of course, a few years ago, Alabama annihilated USC in a neutral site game to open the season. Ole Miss and Cal, the Rebels lost this game to Cal, but they've got the Golden Bears at home this time around September 21st. So those are two difficult Power 5 games that we typically don't see out of SEC Western Division teams. The SEC East, with the likes of Kentucky, Georgia, Florida, and somebody I'm forgetting, South Carolina, of course, scheduled the second Power 5 game typically, and they already have the difficult Power 5 matchup against the ACC. Clemson, Louisville, of course, Louisville is awful now, but Clemson, Louisville, Georgia Tech, and the like where the SEC Western Division doesn't have that, and most of the teams play one Power Five and the three cupcakes. But Ole Miss, one of the non-Power Fives, of course, being Memphis and Cal on September 21st out of the Pac-12. Back into SEC play with a trip to Tuscaloosa to close out September. And then Vanderbilt. That's the designated rivalry game out of the SEC Eastern Division for the Rebels. So they get a... They catch a break. That's all there is to it. They catch a break with Vandy, who's typically the worst team in the SEC East. If not, they are the second or third worst at best. So Ole Miss with a scheduling break there each and every year, and it continues here in 2019. Then a difficult back-to-back -back assignment October 12th and 19th as they go to Missouri. So that's Ole Miss's other SEC Eastern Division foe. So the round robin comes up on Missouri this year. October 12th at Mizzou, and then Texas A&M the next week at home. By week before Auburn on the Plains, October, or rather November 2nd, and then November finishes off with New Mexico State to try to get a win to become bowl eligible because the last two games of the season. LSU, November 16th at home. By week before Mississippi State, the Egg Bowl showdown in Starkville against the Bulldogs. So what's helping out Ole Miss here is the Open date before a trip to Auburn, an open date before the closing game against Mississippi State, which is a Thursday game. So Mississippi State's going to have to play the week before on a Saturday. Quick turnaround at home in Starkville for the Thanksgiving night game that's been a tradition for the last 10 or 15 years against Ole Miss, where Ole Miss is the bye week leading into that. So not a difficult stretch in any one place, but it's just a flat-out difficult schedule. You've got the SEC Western Division. You've got Missouri. 
You've got uh, Vandy to a certain extent. You've got Memphis and Cal. You've got uh, a group of five that's like a power five. And you've got, of course, again, a Pac-12 team that made a bowl game and is on the rise in the Cal Golden Bears. This is the fourth most difficult schedule in the SEC. It's also number six in the nation. It belongs to the Rebels of Ole Miss. Let's get your record projection. This is mine. Five and seven, two and six in the SEC. So two wins in the SEC. They only get the three out of four non-conference. Don't quite make it to bowl play. And again, this is my spring projection. Final predictions coming up next month. Right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. We'll be back with schedule number five.